Yes, good afternoon. Today we're going to talk about the Eon Global Knowledge Metaverse update for 2022. Uh, the new products, the new programs, and how you can benefit from them. First of all, Eon is a leader in the Knowledge Metaverse. Uh, VR and AR alone is expected to boost global GDP by 1.5 trillion. And the Metaverse itself supposedly is going to be an $8 trillion industry. Now, if you look at Eon, what are we doing? What's our contribution to this growth? Um, yeah, our focus is in knowledge. So the knowledge metaverse. We have uh, three products for that. We added last year two products, merged XR and special meetings uh, that I will describe in more details today. We have expanded the access to 3D asset to 5.1 million uh, assets, free and premium. Uh, we have over the years accumulated 42 million XR viewers and sold recently 1.4 million licenses of the new platform. We're also introducing now something called Share and Earn, where creators can share their experience on the Eon marketplace and can earn money. We also have a number of programs around the knowledge metaverse, connecting academia, government, enterprise, institution all over the world. And now we have very pleased to announce that we have more than 100 countries involved in large-scale rollouts. So let's look a little bit onto the details. Uh, first of all, most of you know the fact that according to PwC, students learn faster, four times faster, they are more confident, they are more emotionally connected and focused with VR and AR. So if that's the case, how come not every single academic institution has these technology today. Uh, you know, it's not that easy. Historically, there were a number of problems. First of all, it was difficult to create and use XR for normal users. Game engine required coding. There was a lack of educational XR content. And the pandemic effect created a number of problems, as we all are aware of, dropping grades, enrollment, even mental health crisis that have appeared. So Eon has set itself with our platforms to address these issues. And you are all familiar with the no code creation tools. I'm not gonna focus so much on that today, um, which provides you the ability, as you can see here today, to have access to many library items, to have a code-free environment that anybody can use to create VR, AR, XR, and mobile. So what's new? There are two new components. One of them we call Merged XR, which is a technology that enables anyone to create digital twins by simply scanning an environment. And then in seconds, use artificial intelligence to inject knowledge in this environment and finally be able to superimpose in the reality various type of knowledge elements or what we call knowledge portals. Last but not least, you can teleport yourself with a third product we call Spatial Meetings to another location and, you know, with voice, interact, uh, engage uh, in a lab, laboratory environment or any type of experiment as if you would do in real life. So those are the three components that enable you to have an open cross-platform environment to expand your physical world, not retreat from it, and to connect with people in a positive way. So what can you do with this? Obviously you can uh, learn, you can train, you can perform, and you can collaborate. And I will show you in a second how you can do that. Now this is applicable for many aspects, for K-12, for TVET, for higher education. And I will show you a video how we can do this practically 2022 by using the new Eon Merged XR, where we see the creation is going twice as fast, does not require any need for training, where you also have access to more than 5 million assets and you have this new share and earn marketplace. So let's look at the video that I just recorded recently around this. Uh, if I can do it, anyone can. Let's have a look. Today we're going to talk about the new Merged XR experience. We'll start uh, for, with a user experience for 2022. What you're going to see is something quite amazing that uh, you can hold uh, your mouse over 
the experiences and you'll see a three sec preview and you'll see the same if you do it on the phone by slightly touching the screen uh, and this brings a lot of more life because you don't have to actually go inside the experience you'll be able to see that automatically but we'll focus more on the experience creation you'll start straight in ar which you make it's very liberating you can tap to place the knowledge portal you can just speak let's say aircraft engine automatically the system tracks the aircraft engine you can also put your text here so you can type engine and you will find that generates the automatically six knowledge portals let's look at that it's all tightly compactly packed so we have six packages there the 3d asset the text the images uh, the videos that you can that have been selected and you can select the one you like finally uh, the pdf and uh, not at least the audio part and let's look a little bit more in detail so let's start with the 3d asset first so here you are you could see that i had a number of assets i selected the aircraft engine i can also import my asset text wise i can either use the text that was suggested or my own images likewise and also videos i can select what was automatically or i can type in my own https youtube link or with respect to the videos you will then see how well they work and go to the pdf part on the pdf side here you see i can select whatever i want from my phone um, once i have them i can view the pdf and after the pdf we have also this audio. lesson is about the aircraft engine and how it functions okay now let's go to the feature ar feature buttons we have seven of those and you see them there you can add more assets for example instead of one you can have multiple assets and you can rotate uh, place them what where you want you can see object two object three and you can create a whole environment you can have speech to text if you want to add more information than what was provided previously. You also have AI image. With this image, the system actually identifies and names what you're looking at if you don't know the name, which is wonderful. Um, you have the 3D recording, walk and talk. So the ability to walk around, uh, record that, and then have an avatar representing, explaining, speaking, interacting, grabbing, uh, in order to do a standard operation procedure. Very useful feature. Language. Now we expose the language up front, and let's have a look. So I'm using just uh, this to type voice. This is a demonstration of our text to speech and multiple language capabilities. I'm selecting Spanish as a language, for example, of 42 languages. Esta es una demostración de nuestras capacidades de texto a voz en muchos idiomas. Okay. So that was that. Now let's go to something else, screen recording. So I can actually record my screen live and then I can share it on social media. This is very nifty. Uh, assessment, we have four assessment portals. So it's a tightly packed four portals. We have quiz, we have identify, we have locate, we have 3D assessment, uh, all, in, all in one. Let's look a little bit closer. So quiz, you can have different alternatives identify, identify specifically the item, locate, for, for example, an object, and 3D assessment, it's a simulator how well you perform, in essence. Now, let's see, we want to share and earn on the marketplace. So do you want to share your experience, yes or no? If you say yes, now you have the ability to set the price and it will be exposed on your marketplace where you can have lessons, learn, and you make money. So finally, then you exit your lesson. Now, when you click exit, uh, one of the things that's gonna come is up next. So this is um, nine videos selected based on your personality by topic, by region, or by your favorite creator. So you'll be able to see all these and uh, actually be inspired of <laughs> experiencing the next uh, XR solution. Now, if you don't do anything, the system will auto play for you uh, the next experience that the system believes is most suitable for you. So this way you can be intrigued and learn constantly, all the time, every time, anywhere. And you can also see that in the context of your environment. So um, on that note, thank you so much. And uh, yeah, keep looking and seeing what next features holds in 2022.
Thank you. Yes, so if you want to have a more in-depth demo, we can do a deep dive for you. Uh, just reach out to us. Um, there are many things that we can touch, uh, time doesn't allow, from the smooth lesson interface that we have uh, improved to the detailed admin pages, uh, to the marketplace that now allows you to sell your whole experience, and also the Oculus extension to the App Lab, as well as the unparalleled visual quality. Uh, all that with nice lesson playlists, uh, the Oculus Quest in, and uh, other integrations with headsets like Magic Leap and so on. The ability to import 3D assets with a dashboard and of course support for Mac. Now, who's using this and what has happened on our global rollout? Let me just take you on a quick tour around the world. Fasten your seat belts because this is gonna go really fast. But in summary, E.ON has been supporting a number of partners for post-pandemic resilient recovery in education, enterprise, and communities. And as such, uh, we have more than 100 countries that have joined the Knowledge Portal, uh, Knowledge Metaverse program, sorry, uh, also Knowledge Portal in itself. Uh, and large of that amount of that is fueled by an enormous amount of effort that's been put by enterprises, by governments, and academic institutions to achieve uh, a resilient post-pandemic recovery. And EON partners, as you know, with organizations like IDB, uh, USAID, and many others. Now, as a result of that, last year we had an 819% increase in users. And soon, all places on the map, from places like uh, Honduras, all the way to Papua New Guinea, have become power user of our platform. To enable students to learn faster, retain information longer, and ultimately make better decisions. Um, so, uh, I am myself joining some of this location, a subset, together with my colleagues. Um, we also have a number of advisors. The latest advisor is uh, Rosen Plevniev that has helped us with, uh, is the fourth president of Bulgaria, joining our team. This is my travel. Uh, visiting some of our partners uh, that really go across the world, as you can see here. Um, so example of, uh, if you want to learn more about how they use it, there is a very detailed testimonial uh, like this one here. This technology is incredible and it is life changing. So that was not very loud, but I will come back to this. And if you want to listen to this, go to our YouTube channel and you'll find literally hundreds of testimonials. Uh, so let's start with North and South America. We started there with colleges uh, such as LACC um, and uh, they have now extended their program or New Mexico State University or uh, Community College uh, Gulf Course, G Gulf Coast, sorry in Mississippi, or uh, places like uh, Baker College. Uh, and in all these cases, we have... When we first started talking about using extended reality, and someone asked me the question, said, well, which program do you think you know could use this? And my answer was, what program couldn't? It, right? So uh, there is extensive videos on my presentations. If you want to get the full presentation, just reach out to me and you'll get it. In the interest of your time now, I will not go through all of these. You can see the flags and you can read more carefully about it in the PDF version. But nevertheless, there is tons of academic institution in not only US, but North America that are using our technology at the moment. We engage, for example, in a new exciting um, uh, activity with Mexico. Uh, which we hope to, to launch with 57,000 students. We have successfully in integrated this in uh, Jamaica and West Indies. Uh, earlier, we have been working, of course, with Senai, which is now in process of expanding. Uh, we work in Central America uh, with uh, Panama, uh, Dominican Republic. Um, we've explored many different locations. We are quite have strong presence in Honduras. With respect to Europe, we started in places like London with 
University of East London, uh, Glasgow, uh, Switzerland. Uh, we are now engaged now in a discussion, in a in engagement with Technical Hochschule School in Degendorf, uh, many places, Italy, Genoa. Uh, we have uh, Spain as early engagement. Burgas uh, Center in Bulgaria now is expanding nationally and many, many more. I will not go through all the details in the interest of your time. Uh, and, but it's not limited to Europe uh, or North or South America. We have also expanded in Asia and there, of course, Singapore, where we have a headquarter. Um, and this is applicable in the transportation, aerospace, uh, but also very much so with most academic institutions. India, we're doing a huge rollout there for 40,000 students. Um, Thailand, we just inaugurated with the Deputy Minister of Education, a big center that will expand hopefully to a national rollout. Uh, we also have China with multiple locations and centers, Japan, uh, Malaysia, Vietnam, even Cambodia now we have started an engagement with, uh, and of course Indonesia, that's a very large country. And as I mentioned earlier, Papua New Guinea. Uh, and of course, Africa is a country we, a continent, sorry, we care a lot about. We started last year, a year and a half ago actually, uh, in uh, Morocco, that is expanding uh, a lot uh, over the two years with locations like Honoris United Universities, Hassan II, um, multiple projects, South Africa with Val University of Technology. Um, Central University of Technology, and now we are engaged with the Minister of Edu Higher Education, Science and Technology to do a national rollout. Egypt, uh, where we have established a center with Nile University. Ghana, with uh, the same with University Central University of Ghana. Uh, likewise in Nigeria, with multiple locations, uh, uh, Palestine, even places now like Zimbabwe, in Ethiopia, where we have a signed agreement, and uh, not long ago with Rwanda, uh, places like Senegal, uh, Liberia. Uh, finally, with respect to Middle East, we have a long-standing relation in Kuwait, um, uh, Zina Technology and the government, Entech, uh, in Amman, uh, Arab University, uh, for example, Jordan, uh, also in Israel with the Academic College of Tel Aviv. Um, so why is EON launching these programs? What we, do we want to achieve? So we believe fundamentally that knowledge is a human right. We want to build the knowledge metaverse realizing that there's many other people that need to be involved in this. We want to stimulate job creation and also work with partners to enhance further our research and development. Um, now, what are the benefits for these partners? I could summarize them simply put in four. One, this really transforms education. So as I mentioned earlier, it's proven that um, students learn faster, retain information longer, and make better decisions. But more important, during the pandemic and a post-pandemic era, we have seen that students that use this technology increase enrollment, retention, satisfaction, and engagement. We also see that this builds IP and digital assets and interesting, as you could see earlier, ability for academic institution governments to monetize these assets and the knowledge metaverse. Okay, so of course, EON has traditional academic customers uh, in many fields and also enterprise customers that see the benefit of reducing the training cost, uh, customers historically such as Exxon or Boeing or Shell or Siemens also have seen increased in productivity by using this technology. Now, concretely, what are the EON XR Center grant programs deliverables? So, you get the infrastructure, you get um, uh, Amazon Web Service Unlimited support, at unlimited time. You get the access to the XR platforms, the three platforms I described. You get access to additional hardware and the know-how resources to make it happen. Now, how is 
this type of rollouts, how are they implemented? Very simple. Uh, we go through a partnership discussion, understand the needs, uh, go over the implementation program. If need, we also have something called the Metaverse Academy uh, to further enhance the community and the knowledge, and we work together to expand the program. A concrete example here comes from one European university that in the span of two months, we're able to create more than 50,000 assets and XR experiences of which the top 10 were used and implemented as a part of the academic uh, program. If you want more information about the programs, please contact us. We look forward to work with you and engage in this very exciting knowledge metaverse future. Thank you so much.